You know, I assume and I know that most of us would like to be like uh, Pastor Jason said. We would like to be on fire, we would like to be mature, and we would like to witness without any, any challenges. Wouldn't you say yes and amen to that? Would you like to be on fire? I mean, not burning, but you know. Would you like to be hot, hot, and not lukewarm? Yes. Would you like to be mature? Amen. I think uh, you, only if we don't know what it means, we, would we say, no, I don't want to. And then, and then we want to be witnesses, don't we? So that's what, what, what in a sense, I want to talk to you about for the sort of second half of my message. Because when we are coming to the city with the Billy Graham Evangelistic Association, people say, well, you know what? Yeah, they just put it on the screen and people come. We actually, by the way, will also have, in addition to Crowder, we will have Planet Shakers here to sing at the river stage on the 18th of February. It's, a, it's outside, I know. I know, it's February, I know, I know about the storms, everyone tells me, I know it's hot, but you be there, I will come back to that in a moment. You will, you will not want to miss this, because it's going to be great. But more than that, the pastor, he wants his flock to be on fire, mature, and, and be witnesses. That's why you have a, a four-week uh, uh, campaign, revival campaign. That's why we are doing the training that, that we will... that that we will emphasize during this uh, time together. And I usually say like this, it is simple to be a witness, but it is not easy. You know what the difference is? Now, in some language, there is no difference between, but in English, there is. Simple means that it is not complicated. But when I say that it is not easy, it means that it is not easy to do. And, and most people say, oh, yeah, yeah, you just go and share. Well, it's not that easy. It is not that easy. Because once you, you start thinking about it, you realize that this is something that would, will make people have a reaction. Isn't that true? And you say, well, why would I do it? And the answer is, well, there are many answers to that. Let me try to address a few of them. It, it is important to remember, though, that God wants you to be on fire. God wants you to be immature and God wants you to be a witness. So we really don't, we're not dealing with unknowns here or something that God says, well, you know, I don't know if I have an opinion about that. No, he does have an opinion about that. You know, he doesn't want lukewarm people. You know, Revelation 3, he says that, yeah, yeah, you say that you, you have eyesight, but you're actually blind. You say you're rich, but you're actually poor. You, yeah, you, you're lukewarm. I want to spit you out of my mouth. I, you're neither warm or cold. So I want to spit you out of my mouth. And that's, that's, that's not what we want to hear. 